Welcome to Taverni in Fiji. Now, I've been here for a couple of days and Fiji, when you think about it, is always white crystal beaches, blue skies. But unfortunately, this is cyclone season, so it's been raining non-stop and at the moment, this is the driest it's been since I've been here. So it's my chance to get out and about very quickly. So, while I'm here, I'm going to show you around the hostel that I'm staying in because if you've been following me, everything I do is on a budget. And the hostel is this place here. £16 a night. And obviously all these places up here are all uh, individual lodges, bungalows, but holiday makers will be staying at but for me this is dormitory and it's basic got aircon that's my little best piece down there you can tell by the mess but I thought I'd show you around the rest of it before I head into town have a look around there and then as the thumbnail suggested I want to be doing some time traveling so this is the chill area So this place is just ideal for chilling out um, in the afternoons and just here is where they do the carver drinking on a night time to the ceremonies for getting you not drunk but if you've seen the previous videos carver is a big thing in Fiji and I'm still trying to get used to it. And there's always something going on. So it's quite nice, apart from the weather. So if you're ever in this area, if you ever come to this island, I will put the details of the, the hostel online so you can get the name of it and uh, if you watch the previous video, you'll find out how to get here onto the island. One of the things that this hostel does do is between the hours of 11 in the morning and 4 o'clock in the afternoon, they turn the power off. There is no electricity, so that is why this place is so quiet and everybody has gone off onto their various trips or diving around the island. I'm on a budget, so there's only so much I can do, but because this hostel is cash only most of the time, the nearest ATM is in the, the town, which is about a 15 minute drive away, so I need to go and get some cash, which is why I'm gonna take you down with me, show you the town, and then on to some time traveling and if you don't understand where Fiji is then you probably won't understand how I'm gonna do this time traveling but you'll find out so I'm just waiting for the taxi right now the village town that we're going to is about 13k away and the rain has started 
and because I've left most of my stuff back in the hostel on the mainland and when you come here with four days worth of pack I've got no wet weather gear t-shirt shorts all the way So we've arrived in, I think the town's called Samoa, Samoa, I'll have to check it out, but we've just been to the ATM, the only two ATMs that there is on this island, so we're going to have a look around, and as you can see it is absolutely pouring down, uh, and because it's Sunday, everything's closed. And the most modern building I've seen is this church here. But yeah, it's it's raining, it's wet, there's nobody about. So I think it's time to do some uh, time travelling. Which is another 10 minutes away from here. And if we're lucky, the rain might have stopped. So this is it, this is the place where I'm going to do a bit of time, time travelling and basically if you know your geography you know that uh, Fiji lies on the 180th meridian and that is the line that goes through Earth where on this side it's today and this side is yesterday. So I'm going to do some time travelling and go from today to yesterday. So what I would have thought was really important for Fiji, as in yesterday and today, and the 118th Meridian Lane, is in the middle of nowhere. And all I've got here is obviously the, the stand and in the background is a church. So uh, before I go, I just want to do one more time traveling going from today. <laughs> and it's now yesterday. Where's the lottery ticket when I need it? But the weather is not the best. So it's time to head back. So that was time traveling in Fiji. Not quite Doctor Who level, but it's still fun. And as we get back, the rain has started to die off. For the next two days, it's gonna be heavy rain. So for me, it looks like it's gonna be a quiet time chilling while I work out what I'm gonna be doing next. The rain has made the quality of this video not the best, but if you've enjoyed it, press that like button. If you want to see what else I get to in Fiji over the next couple of weeks, press that subscribe button. But until next time, just as the rain starts again, bye bye for now.